Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan. Today I'll talk about how you can take macro photography with your Pixel 8 Pro. So macro photography is taking pictures of uh, things or objects uh, from very close range, which uh, you know you are not able to see with your eyes. And it opens up a totally different world because you're able to see things that you know you cannot really see with an, uh, regular eyes or uh, naked eyes. And it opens up a, a different perspective and uh, in the past in order to take a macro pho photography you would need require a uh, camera costing 1000 or more like this and also you'd require a separate lens uh, macro photography lens costing 1000 and more like this but with pixel uh, 8 pro uh, you have the capability to take macro photography without uh, these expensive cameras and lenses although it's not going to be 100 percent same like uh, you know these expensive uh, cameras or lenses but uh, definitely it can come very close and in this uh, video i'll show you how so let me just uh, put this aside here so you have to change a few settings in order to do that so open up your camera application uh, by clicking on the camera which is uh, right here and then here you can see that your camera application is up and it's set to photo which is right here so if you click on the settings which is on the lower left corner uh, we're going to change a few settings so just click here and you can see that uh, there's a uh, photo setting for general and pro so what we'll do we'll look at the macro focus which is right here and set it to auto or set it to macro so the other two other options are here you can see that uh, this one has uh, macro focus off and this one has a macro focus on but the best thing would be to put it in auto and then what do you want to do uh, you just want to go to pro section and then here if you look at the resolution uh, which is on the top then you're going to see that there are two options so one is uh, this is 12 megapixel and this is 50 MP so for macro 50 MP is best although it's a bigger file size but it's going to give you the best uh, photography or macro photography so once you have that uh, those we are going to just you know go back to our camera now I have a coffee uh, some coffee ground coffee right here and I'm just going to show you how it works or how it looks uh, when you take a macro photography so I'm just going to put it here now what happens if you bring your camera now uh, because you change some settings to an object very close the macro macro photography icon is going to be you know on or uh, visible on the screen automatically so for example the pick icon you're seeing right here this is the macro photography icon so I'm just going to try to you know get very close to the uh, coffee uh, you have to have enough light uh, if it's like an outdoor it's even better uh, if you are indoor just make sure that you have enough light and then you're just going to you know take your camera really close uh, try to get a very good focus and also one thing you might want to notice uh, you might want to keep an keep in mind that uh, your hand shouldn't shake uh, if it's difficult then use a tripod or something but when I go outside I just use my like you know hand and I'm able to take uh, some photo so you can see that is very close right now I'm just going to get even closer and let's see if we can take a nice macro photography so my lens is almost touching the coffee ground coffee and I'm just going to hit click uh, just give me a second here you can see that when the macro icon is very like you know bright that means that you have very good focus so uh, I'm just going to click try to make it steady and click here and let's see what we have here so you can see that this is a picture of the coffee ground coffee and you can see the details and which is like you know really amazing and this I would say it didn't come that good because my hand was shaking but if you are like you know I use a tripod or a something to stable your camera or if you go outdoor and take like you know flowers or leaves it comes very good so this is how you take macro photography on your pixel 8 pro for the next tips and tricks video I'm going to put a link on the screen and I'll see you in the next video thank you for watching